Has your granddad ever given you a present worth £18,000? Well, Prince George can confidently respond yes, because not only was the present expensive, but it was also significant. It is no secret that monarch Charles is a devoted grandpa who spends as much time as he can with the little ones and his family. It also appears that the monarch enjoys spoiling his grandkids on special occasions. He has frequently told endearing tales about the royal kids throughout the years, and he has also been overheard making preparations to see them right away. Earlier this week, the Prince and Princess of Wales attended a customary ceremony at Balmoral Castle with King Charles and Queen Camilla in attendance. Although they were not present at the church ceremony, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis have undoubtedly traveled to Scotland with their parents to spend the last few weeks of summer in the same location that their late great-grandmother visited every year as a kid. During public appearances, the monarch frequently talks about his grandkids and has given them many lovely presents, including a magnificent legacy project in Balmoral for Prince George. Among the countless tales of his wonderful presents, one particularly kind gift he purchased for Prince George for $8,000 shows how dedicated a grandpa he is. At his Victorian-style Highgrove house in Gloucestershire, King Charles had an incredible gift placed. Shepherd's Hut, which has everything from a wood-burning stove to a daybed, was given to the young royals by the Dorset-based company Plank Bridge. It can be seen by visitors during a guided tour through the King's Gardens and is believed to be a favorite play area for Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. A grandfather who spends five figures on playhouses and plants a field and names it in our honor? How sweet! During a visit to the one show where the monarch responded to inquiries about how we may all live more sustainably, King Charles erected several magnificent tributes to Prince George. The interview was shot in Prince George's wood, which the king has referred to as an old man's obsession. He explained the touching tribute to his grandson, I managed to plant it the same year that my grandson was born, the eldest George, so I thought I'd call it Prince George's wood. Prince George's wood was a rather empty field that the farm no longer needed. Since fall is magical up here, locating all the beautiful trees and bushes that change an intriguing hue is half the fight. It is truly for autumn color and a little bit of spring. The king is working on something far more significant to leave all of his grandkids than pricey gifts. If we are going to leave them with this entirely polluted, damaged, and devastated earth, it does seem insane to me. During a visit to Ghana in 2018, he stated that every grandchild deserves a brighter future. The Wales young ones may also play in the 1989 built tree home, which was constructed for Prince William when they grow weary of the playhouse. For William's seventh birthday, the wooden home was built, and it was later renovated so that the royal grandchildren could enjoy it. Additionally, King Charles had a special playhouse built for Lilibet, according to a source. King Charles has asked his advisors to look at a specially manufactured cubby home like the one the Queen and Princess Margaret had as little children. It will be the ultimate surprise, one she will never forget. The costly and heartfelt present was described as Grandad Goals by an insider.